All right, what is up everybody? It's me Chris here again. I got another great video for you. Gonna be talking about these horror boxes. It is uh, the awesome month. Uh, let me see, I think I got something. Never mind. Um, it is the awesome month of October, my favorite month of the year. And I've been doing a little bit of horror shopping. So I got something I thought you might be interested in. I'm really excited about it. Hopefully everything that's supposed to be in the box is in the box. I'm going to share a couple other things with you and we're just going to get through this so it should be pretty exciting so yeah here we go so the first thing that i want to talk about is this box i've got some other stuff to show you though and this was a box that i bought let me get out of the light sorry guys this was a box that i bought from ebay and i think that i paid 25 dollars even might have been 24 dollars, but it wasn't that expensive um some figures that i wanted and i was going to buy these figures on their own but had I bought them on their own they would have been like $25 a piece so I bid on this and just like I do a lot of things some stuff you win some things you lose I forgot about it and I got a notification from eBay that said I won with my starting bid so that was super awesome super excited to have these let's get into the box so they shipped in the Amazon box nothing inconspicuous there and let me go here Time to sharpen my knife. I got my wife assistance, so if anybody has any comments or concerns, she can definitely help out. I'm off work early today because we are dealing with some hurricane stuff, so I wanted to get this in just in case we lost power. So here we go. All right. It's probably a whole lot of nothing in here. <laughs> that would be bad. So it's always interesting when you open a box for the first time. But I see some stuff. That's pretty awesome. I like a lot of stuff. And I also... Oh, this is nice. They left a note that said, Thank you for your order and for your quick payment. I hope that I've earned your positive feedback. That was really nice. So that's cool. And just to show you guys, there was a shipping total here. Show you I'm not BSing you. Let me flip this around so I can see what I'm doing here. This thing was, in fact, $24 for this order. There was $10 shipping, but my eBay bucks paid for that. So there you go. I actually paid $24 pretty much even. Now back to the program. All right. So let's see what we got here. Let's get rid of this box. And everything was packaged very well. And let me pull out just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. So this is in some awesome bubble wrap and everything is packaged individually, which is nice. Oh, this is so cool. Something heavy right here. What is that? One, two, three. Oh, that's all the parts. I was like, is there four? It's supposed to be a three figure lot here. So that's what I'm hoping for. All right, so the very first figure that we roll out, if you're a zombie fan, this video is definitely for you. So the first figure that we roll out is the butcher. This is really sick. I think this is either NECA or soda. Let's see if I can see from the bottom. This might be a soda toy, state of the art toys. Um, but this figure is awesome. This is the, the, what's that movie called? Of the Dead. With Big Daddy and all them in it. It's not Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead. Not, not, no, it's something. Um, some, Land of the Dead, that's it. These are from Land of the Dead. Get all my dead movies confused. But here is one of them, and this is very cool. The butcher here, and he looks great. Good. This is a good figure. It's more of a statue, but it's good to have zombies anytime you can get them. I've got, one day if you guys want to see it, I'll show you my Walking Dead collection. It's pretty vast too. I don't talk about it that much. I just buy them and stick them on the shelf. They're all still in package. But these, I am looking to display these 7-inch figures. because This guy looks really freaking sick. And the paint up still look good. Really awesome. Looks like the arms move. And they do. So that's cool. But the legs are pretty much a solid. Here's what the back looks like. Back of the head. Cool figure. So really excited about that one. So we'll put him up. And hopefully you guys can see. And let's open up the next figure. Okay. Let's see, what 
seller that you get these from? Just random sellers. What's up, Warner Burn? Just uh, random sellers. Um, just anybody who's willing to sell to me. If the price is right and if I'm in the market, I'm definitely looking to buy um, anything horror related. So this just happened to be a lot that I happened to find. Here's figure number two. Tom Savini himself. I think he's called Machete. But like machete but machete i think that's his name in land of the dead so he's really cool uh this is one i really wanted because i love tom savini if you guys don't know he's been doing special effects for a long time he was in the movie uh dust till dawn he's been in a lot of different things but he's also done a lot of great uh makeup effects one of my favorite effects was the uh dawn of the dead effects because i like the blue look of the zombies which is amazing and by the way if you haven't pre-ordered pre-order because the fine folks over at Mezco have a two-pack of the Mezco 112 Dawn of the Dead figures coming out next year. I've got mine pre-ordered. They're going to be amazing. But here is Machete and look, Tom Savina. Wow, this is a good looking figure. Man, that's menacing. He's got his biker gear on. Everything looks good. He does have a waist swivel. Arms do move. I'm going to be real careful because these figures are a little older. But this is a good figure, very solid. Side profile. There's the back leather jacket. Blue jeans. Riding boots. Super awesome figure. Wow. That's two good ones. And hopefully this will... I can get some light on these guys in a second so you can really see them. Just right now, I'm just going through the paces. And this is the one, if you remember that movie, you definitely remember this dude, don't you, Trina? Mm -hmm. The Big Daddy. And you gotta have Big Daddy. He was the smart zombie. He was the bub of the new movies. So let me look at him, too. He's really nice. Real nasty mouth on him. Looks really good. He's got Big Daddy right there on his uh, oversuit. Hands look really good here, and hopefully you can see that in focus. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to ride this manually. Jumpsuit looks good. He's pretty much a statue. No neck, uh, no waist swivel. He does have a little bit of head articulation, and his arms do move, so that's fine as long as he'll stand. But there's the back of him as well, and this is a great-looking figure. I think that it's really awesome. Wow, look at that. Boom. There's Big Daddy. So now I'm not even going to move the camera. I'm just going to show you all the accessories here that came in this bag. And there are tons. So this seller was amazing. One of the things that you get is who had the jackhammer? Do you remember? Was it Big Daddy who had it? So here's the, the jackhammer that Big Daddy had. And it is awesome. It's even got a nice little sharp point on it. So this is a cool little accessory to have here. Uh, we've got also an eaten torso. Look at this, Trina. The head's missing. It's got some oil. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's gnarly. But you got a little torso action going on there. Um, there's, I'm going to just pull all this stuff out because it's like a lot of small parts, which are great for my zombie display. You've got the machete. That machete. That's why they call it machete because that's the machete that he holds in the movie. It's really cool. Good blood spray and splatter on that. I'm just looking at it myself for the first time. It looks really nice. Um, you got the butcher knife. Oh yeah, butcher knife, same effects. Hold on, there's more. I got some more to show you too. This is just the tip of this here iceberg. That's cool as well. <laughs> there's a leg. Look at that leg with that femur bone hanging out. You see that, babe? Ugh. Super nasty. And I think, is this the leg for this dude? Yeah. Uh, it's disgusting. Look at that, you guys. This is cool. You can stick that leg back up in that joint. <laughs> This is sick. I really like this a lot. This is really crazy. So you got a whole lower torso and you got his arms. So this is a whole dude. So check this out. We can lay him on the ground and the only thing we, oh and there's his head. Ugh. So you can lay him out on the ground in pieces. So let me do that. Here is a Steyr R. Looks like that's what this gun is. Austrian if I remember correctly. Um, and all the different parts of his guts that that you can put on display and that was nice that this seller included that because that is freaking epic oh gosh so i'm gonna just 
put all these guts out here and his head out here. Oh man, I got an interchangeable hand here for Big Daddy. Looks like that's what that is. Interchangeable mitt. So that's kind of nice. And which arm goes where? Oh gosh, this guy's toast. So yeah, that looks really cool. And let me try to show y'all what that looks like. Give me a second. Am I in there? Well, let me boost this neutral density for you. Hopefully you can see everything better with me out of the way now. And then I'm going to zoom in. So let me move so I can show you everything that came. And this was for the cool price of 25 bucks. So let me get out of the light. Um, that gun look like an AUG? Yeah, it might be an AUG. It could be an AUG. But I think it's a little long for an AUG. I have to check, but it might be. It could very well be. I have an airsoft AUG. That's why I, and it, my barrel's not quite that long. Or maybe it's my, my stock. I have to look and see. But yeah, look at this guy. This zombie laid out. Or... The remains of this dude laid out. That's pretty sick. Damn, great you, baby. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And look at that. You know, after you do this for a while, you try to find the best buys you can. And this is a really solid one. I really like this. Now, why did I buy these? And I want to show you guys some other stuff. So let me zoom out a little bit so I can show you what else we got going on. Um, I've already got a few different parts and pieces that I want to put these guys with and hopefully nothing falls because that'd be catastrophic but like this dude right here the day of the dead and this is Dr. Tongue um, he's still in the package I got him off of eBay a long time ago I just never told y'all about it sorry but he's really awesome so this is one that I had to have and if you look on the back this is from a mock time the other one that I need is Bub I don't have Bub yet but hopefully I'm gonna get him and I'm gonna get Tarman even though they're not the same continuity so here is Dr. Tongue and he looks amazing. I've also got these guys over here, which I want to display, which is the plaid shirt zombie from Dawn of the Dead, which is super sick and really awesome. You see him on the back here. I also have Sean of the Dead. What I do with my Sean of the Dead figure, babe? I do want to show that I've got this Shaun of the Dead figure right here and it's sick. I just got it off eBay too. <laughs> and I also have this dude in the zombie lore. Gotta have a fly boy if you're serious about zombies. Um, and I wish they had a non-zombie fly boy because I'd love to have him too. So I could have him as the zombie. And before, and if you haven't watched this movie, it sucks for poor old fly boy. But man, is he an awesome zombie. He leads him up to the little hideout. It's great. One of my favorite, no, not one of, George A. Romero, Donna Dead, my favorite zombie movie, period. That and then uh, Return of Living Dead is probably number two. Super awesome. Look at that. So yeah, that's my zombie stuff for right now. Um, as it stands, really excited about that. Really awesome stuff. Um, let me show y'all this in focus so y'all don't lose complete interest. Let me see if I can find Sean real quick because I do want to show him to y'all. Since I said I got him. Gotta check my inventory. And I pulled him right out. Sean of the Dead, baby. Right there. And that's a cool figure also. Got the flowers. <laughs> and that boat oar looking thing paddle. I don't know what that is. Wiffle ball something. I don't know what that is. But he like bust some zombie heads with it. Really cool. So yeah. There's that figure also. Really cool. Alright, now... Let me show you what else I did this weekend. Because I know y'all said y'all wanted to see some hunt video. But to be honest, the hunt stuff has been really hit or miss. It's been really dry. And I've been getting a lot of stuff in the mail. But I will show you what I got uh, this week. i still been doing the pops. Even though I said I was going to stop doing the pops. So, I hit up... My friend Joe got this for me and he just gave it to me, which was really cool because he got a bunch of these because he got those boxes trying to get the chase. So I got this 
uh, Hot Topic exclusive Leatherface, which is awesome for the collection. And I also got this big old dude here, which is the Great Eight Vegeta, which is also amazing. Really wanted that one for the collection also. So pick this up uh, from my friend Joe as well. Thank you, Joe, for this one. I appreciate it, buddy. And I got a few more things, and I'm going to tell you about a project I'm working on, and I want to ask you if you want to see a video or not. And if you don't want to see the video, just let me know. I'll just show you the finished product. Otherwise, I will show you most of the whole thing. All right. So another thing I got here is, you know, I had to get another Predator. They came out with one, so I had to get one. I went ahead and got the Ahab. This thing is sick. Boom. Try to get the glare out of your face, but you see, you see him in there. Looks sick. We will be doing an unboxing of this at some point, so just wait for it. And I also got something I told you, or maybe I didn't tell you, but I wasn't going to buy. Pick this dude up too. Now, I'm, if you know, I've said it a hundred times, my favorite Friday the 13th is part five. Do you like the 2004 Dawn of the Dead? Yes. Uh, Vin Rames and everybody that's in it, Sarah Polly, it's a great movie. Um, but uh, what's your what's the dude who who had the, the baby mama? What's his name? Is Makai Pfeiffer? Pfeiffer. Yeah, um, this is a really good figure. My wife's trying to throw me off laughing at me, but I wasn't gonna get it because if you look at this Jason, it looks like every other Jason. I bought this particular figure just for that mask, and I don't know how well. You can see that. Let me switch hands because that's going to be a disaster. I bought it just for this mask with these worms in the eyes. So I don't know how well that, that is shown. Let me tilt it up so you can see. That's why I bought this guy. So this particular mask for me is amazing because I want to do a casket scene in my display. So... I've been busy building a casket lately. <laughs> I just haven't shown it to you all. Babe, hand me. Come on, can you move this stuff and come hand me this casket? Because I wanted to show it. So, talk to you a little bit about... Yeah, about, spicy is on and he's saying nice, Chris. What up? I want to show you my casket and show you what I'm working on. And I'm going to show you how you can make your very own casket, too. I'm going to talk you through the beginning. Be careful, because that'll make me go live. All right, let me see this. All right, so here is the beginnings of my makeshift casket for Jason. Now, why are you laughing? Because he said, woo So I've got this right now taped up because I'm getting ready to cut it. So I'm going to remove about this much material so that I can make this smaller so Jason fits in it. And then I've got some material that's going to go on the inside to line the coffin. And I'm going to have the coffin in my display and I'm going to have Jason up with that mask with those worms and looking out at you. I'll show you when it's done, but I think it's going to look really cool. Um, here's my top. I may go buy another one of these um, when my wife gets paid again. Love you, babe. So that I can have this thing kind of, let me move back so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So it's kind of going to be sitting like this up and Jason's going to be looking out. And I may do it in two parts and cut this right down the middle and have just the top portion looking up just to kind of make it look cool. But there's going to be a prop. I'm going to install a prop and an LED light. It's going to be lit. No pun intended. And so it should be a pretty cool little display once I'm done. And just to show you that a Jason will fit, I'm going to use my stand-in Jason that's over here. And I'm going to tuck him down in there so that you can kind of get an idea of how this looks. So that's how it looks kind of right now. So it's almost a perfect fit. And so that's kind of cool. And so I want Jason to be in here. He's going to be just kind of show you. And he's going to be looking like that. And I want his hand. So maybe I'll do it the other way. Because he's got a hand that sits up. So he's going to grip it. And his hand is looking. So he's rising from the dead. So he's gonna be looking like this kinda, with his hand gripping the side. <laughs> that should make a lot of sense. And I'm gonna have him anchored in, so he's looking out at you like so. Uh, let's see how well I can show this. There you go. 
There it goes. So kind of gives you an idea. And let me fit, come over here and tilt this light down, babe. I'm not fit for telling me to hurry up and get paid. So yeah, this is cool. Tilt the light like down. Telling you to hurry up and get paid. Yeah. What does that you mean? Just say it once I get paid. Oh yeah. Paid. Go ahead and put that down. So if you want to see the video, uh, no, tilt the actual. So yes, break it down. Tilt. Keep pushing up. Push up. Push up. There you go. So yeah, that's it. So if you want to see this full project, let me know. I'm also thinking about cutting out the top because I salvaged like a cheap wooden jewelry box. I'm thinking about cutting the top out and putting plexi in there so I can lay him fully down in here. Hold on, Jason. Like so. So I can lay him to rest and then have him sitting up in the coffin, but you see him through the plexi with the light on. That would look sick too. Let me know what y'all think. Do you want me to do a wood door or a plexi door? Um, Cause I can do either. And let me know in the comment section and I'll work on that. But I've got the base started. So it's not gonna look like this when it's done. It's gonna look totally different. So I just walk you through it, especially once I make it a little bit shorter, it'll look more like a normal coffin. And once I put the material inside, like uh, the stuff that I bought is gonna really make this pop and make it a really cool um, accessory to go on my display. Super duper excited. So yeah, let me know what you guys think as always because your opinion matters the most. That's everything you guys. I just wanted to get this video out because I got some other stuff planned for this weekend. Uh, I really, this weekend I'm going to be working to get this coffin done. So I'll let you know on that. I may go live on it. Depends on how much Call of Duty I play. I will be live streaming some of the new uh, Black Ops. So if you have a PS4 and you want to play with me, just let me know. I'll be on Friday, Saturday and we can talk about whatever. Um, otherwise, that's it for today. Wow. So this is my $25 haul, $24 haul, $25 haul minus Jason. Um, and it was a good haul. I'm really happy with that specific seller. Um, got a lot of other great content coming down the pipes. Uh, I enjoy these live videos. I hope you enjoy them too. Take care. Be safe. If you're anywhere in the path of uh, the recently landfall hurricane michael thank you um we kind of are in the path but not really so hopefully we keep power that'd be awesome y'all be good be safe i'll see you soon